Oh, okay, okay, okay. Welcome back to the Risk Meta Settings. Today, we are starting this game 86 rank points short of that beautiful little Grandmaster tag. And we're going to start in the first position with a very deep corner. Whoa! These blizzards are a little bit crazy. Okay. Um, I'm just going to ignore them, I think. And I'll come back to them after I've placed my cap. Do I go hungry? I think I want to go hungry. Yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> these blizzards are nuts. Wow, so many games of crazy blizzards recently. Let's run through them briefly. We have... A... North Africa blizzard, one of the chain. We also have Greece, so it's, so it's after Benghazi. Uh, so it's east of Benghazi. There's a Greece blizzard as well. It makes it Af uh, North Africa a deep corner, but it is split. Green is spamming moats. They are going to be muted for a little while. Okay, we, so with those, we also have the Sicily... Uh, uh, Sardinia, sorry. Sardinia cap... Uh, Sardinia blizzard. Blizzard, not capitals. This forms the Rabat. Oh, you don't want to go there. That's annoying. Anyway, Rabat... Uh, West Africa is now a deep corner for a plus six. Great. Because of that, Spain is also past that deep corner. That's now plus ten. Then we have a very interesting combination where we have Burgundy and Alps. Burgundy and Alps together turn France into part of that corner too. Which means, and, and then naturally it follows that for example, red could hold the whole of Iceland, UK, France, Spain, and West Africa for a one-point guard in Scotland. This is a kind of diagonal split map. We also have a kind of extra little corner here where white has decided to cap, which we would have loved to have taken for ourselves. However, we're not going to be able to. And that there is the Venice cap. Now, I wouldn't begrudge red for going out of... Oh, okay. That's the bad place for you to place your capital. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. We started out choosing not to go in this deep corner. And now there's a maximum of two people fighting for it. The, whoever holds it, if someone holds this corner quickly, they win. Thankfully, yellow didn't choose Oslo. That would be a very instant win for them, I think. But it might just be a green snowball. I'm going to need to place a whole lot out here to stop red from hitting my cap. I want to make my cap always bigger than white's. And I'm also going to get my card over here in the UK. If we can control some of this corner, that's not a bad thing. If we can't control some of the corner, it's a bad thing. <laughs> okay, this is this is a crazy, crazy start though. White also places three on cap. Places three off cap. Gets hit somewhere else. Another hit somewhere else. <clears throat> Two places we don't see. Interesting. There's not much of the board that we don't see apart from this whole Spain France situation. Black doesn't put anything on cap. Interesting. Does he come in to the top? Yes, he does. Fair enough. You saw how big my cap is. You know that I can see your cap, so your cap grows. My problem here. Hmm, should have put more on cap there. I'm not going to hit you. My problem here is that I have a lovely neighbour cap. I'm going to see if he stopped emoting. This neighbour cap is a very bad deal for me and for white. It, it's not actually that bad for white. It stops me from even trying to take Alps. Green rolls 1v1. That didn't look like a uh, manual roll though. Manual rolls three dice somewhere. Okay. There's still another three dice against... Two. Worst case scenario, that's three attackers against two, which you should take. 
Green is moving? I'm very confused what's green. What is green doing? What? What is happening down here? Has anyone ever seen that happen before? He's still got a card. Okay, so we know that green is Benghazi, but that shouldn't matter. Red goes all on neighbour cap. He's neighbouring two people, which is crazy to me. Tries to roll 1v1 off cap. Tries to roll, roll, tries to roll 1v1 somewhere else. Got it the second time? Yes. Yellow puts everything... Only loses one hitting that. I am interested. Those troops don't come up. That's a green cap, isn't it? <laughs> that's green's capital. Oh, I'm calling it now. That's green's capital. Uh, we need to be like, a very decent strength compared to that thing. So let's do that. And we are also going to get our card with a guaranteed... Three attackers, one defender up here. White holds front. Wait, what? Right, holds France plus fifteen territories or something. Then goes for Italy. One. Two. This is a. This is a very bad start. This is a very bad start. Black is holding a bonus. White is holding two bonuses. And we are in the middle of four capitals. Luckily for us, black has blocked off the capital. Black is in a bad position for a cap. Uh, that That's not a good late game capital. Late game, it's one, two, three, four on a card lock. Sure, you hold a bonus, but someone that's holding the rest of the board is going to be holding a whole lot more than just that. And is that moving off cap? No. Weird. All sorts of weird are happening in this game. You botted? You botted. You, you are an absolute mystery to me. Green, have you ever watched this video? I hope that you've learned something at least. That's about all I can say. Yellow has two caps. Red is only getting his normal five troops per turn. He's also going to roll a 1v1 and lose it because I don't think he manualed it again. Rolls 2v1. Yellow has two capitals. Great. Just what we needed. This means that only Yellow's original... Yellow moves fast. Only Yellow's original capital can be not in this pile or this. <laughs> so Yellow, Yellow's cap is probably one of the good ones down here. Oh, I hate everything about this position. This position is very bad for me. The least, the lesser bad part is the fact that I'm having to cap stack, right? Being forced to cap stack, it means that I have a strong capital, right? And evidently red's cap is going to get hit before mine. Where does white go? How will you white get there? 15. So white held whichever one of France or Spain he was holding, plus his Italy. Black holds a lot of territory, holds 15 territory with his bonus, hits my 3 instantly. Black is going to have a very strong start to this game, I don't think their cap's very good. And I don't think they'll make it very far. I hate this start.
Good thumbnail though. <laughs> Four capitals within <laughs> the most central part of Europe. This would have been a great time to not be in the first position. I don't know what other capital I might have taken, but I can guarantee you that I would not have gone anywhere near Hungary with that many caps there. Red is able to move into Russia. Yellow is now holding the other one of Spain or France. It's one, two, three, four, five. Interesting. I'd like to see how many troops white gets here. Yellow we know holds two capitals. We also know that we're not opening that thing up. We can move this up to a 20 now. And we're going to see if we're allowed to hold Scandinavia. I will take anything. I also don't want green anywhere near me. Yep. So... Yellow took one of the bonuses that White held. White obviously still holding Italy. That's never in doubt for this game, unfortunately. Unfortunately for White, there's a two cap <laughs> block on his capital, which is quite unfortunate for him. He's going to be card blocked very early on here. Unless White can find a different capital, White is going to be super card blocked. White, is Black holding like 21 territories or something right now? No one's investing anywhere near Orient. No one can invest anywhere near Orient. Black is very off cap. Which I don't mind for me. This is crazy. White's going to have... So as soon as white is locked out of any other positions... He's going to be stuck with one card against this black three. And it's between my cap or red. So my cap needs to always be stronger when it's white's turn. I have the advantage there going after red in relation to white. I have the disadvantage in that I go um, first in the turn order. I might consider skipping. I can skip potentially because my cap is going to be 25 strong. Okay, that's a slight game changer. With red setting on three, you can... Nearly guaranteed the bot will set on four. If the, bot, I mean, if the bot hasn't set on four, they will set on four. So you can nearly guarantee it because it's most of the time going to happen. Let's see if we hold Scandinavia. It looks like we do. That's fun. White's getting taken out of the east side fog that we see here. Interesting to see a fist bump. So, skipping here is going to take us from what's likely to be the 8 trade to the 15, so another 7 troops. We're also going to lose that card for the rest of the game. I don't think I do skip here. But I'm very much on board with wiping out as many white stacks as possible. Let's see if that's allowed to hold. White actually holds something there. Okay, yellow doesn't hit him out of the pocket. Very interesting. I don't believe that's optimal for yellow there. Yellow doesn't know where white's cap is though, and that comes towards me. I don't like that. Black now holds Orient, holding 19 per turn. Now, I don't fancy hitting that 15, but I may be forced to. White very clearly didn't hit yellow that turn. They've agreed to be friends now, which I don't like. I don't like the white's the guy on top either. Which means, uh, yellow, maybe Andalusia? Pointing downwards for now? Unlikely to be Gascon, isn't it? A lot of black troops that have just gone into the deep dark corner that I think yellow has a lock on. 
Feel like we're there headed. Stop there. That's rude. Rook by the bot. This bot's gonna grow off cap. He's gonna hold unless I stop it. I'm not gonna stop it, unfortunately. Oh, I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. I really need to wipe out this white exterior. Yellow also holds. Yellow's going to come down from the bottom, and green. Uh, he's going to. He's only going to be left with one direction to go soon. My plan now is to. I'm going to have to hit this. See if I can clear out this pocket. And then run away, basically. Let's see if that's enough. 85%? White's going to hit me out. That's fine point is to weaken them and when yellow comes through white's gonna be blocked yeah, you do everything you want up there I don't care yellow's gonna come through eventually then I'm gonna just be on cap there's not much more to it oh, you go there. okay so we are very clearly now a lesser power black looking to fight yellow down here that's an interesting spin that I didn't see happening. Black has the whole east of the board if he wants it. Heck, he can even have the north. Hits. So yellow left an outside guard. Hits one, finds the capital. Does he roll that? It appears he might have. Let's see if yellow goes down to nine. That black stack going in there, he can't break yellow there. I would like to confirm that, that is yellow's cap though. That would involve way too many troops invested on something useless. Have set on three, I might need it. Greenbot is allowed to hold Central Europe. Two, uh, this Prussia stack is just glued to these two capitals. Gets a free card into Finland. Not quite the way I want it to go. I want, I want to be able to run through Finland and out. So I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like how strong White's exterior is. I really don't. But I have a set on three that I can use. sets naturally or five comes down from the andalusia yep okay that's confirmed now that many troops there yellow is confirmed to have andalusia cap rolls quickly does he get the whole of black we'll find out next time we are going to get five troops we have card here i only expect white to come into me we could trade for the 20 to get 25 troops we can place. We can attempt to open. I don't want yellow to win this too fast. So that's, this is a very difficult balancing act. I think it's just cap stack and pass and break green because strong bot. Actually, mm, strong bot makes it harder for me to get cards. I don't want strong bot. Black should not be fighting in the south at all. Yeah, most of white is going northwards. Uh huh. Wipes out my exterior. Yeah. That's the problem with showing such open hostility and not being able to completely wipe them. 
you're going to be left in a situation like this especially on the five card turn perhaps shouldn't have been so hostile with white then again they did have 15 pointed at me so i don't know if it mattered 17 let's do some calculating see if we can eastern europe plus orient is 10 his cap is another 2 12 15 territories wait uh right yeah 15 territories or no territories and the cap he doesn't have the cap black can't have this capital now because they can't be holding all this without getting 12 territories so there are 15 territories and they don't have that cap green set on three no potentially worth killing we know they're in finland it's a slight issue to get to only worth 20 troops you can see a lot more than that on our border there not worth killing Free card we're going to take in Viv. Red sets on four. Please hit into yellow, uh, into white. It's 20. Red still has an exterior. Red sets on three even. So set on three. Uses the exterior. We're assuming that this has been 95% cleared out by yellow. Let's check. Getting 20 which for these two is 10, two capitals, 14, 18 territories, that's 16, 17, 18, 19, yes. Yellow has no exterior, but is now going up white from behind. Comes out through there, it didn't take all of white, I don't think, then. Hit through a green eight, might be worth the kill now. Um, clearly setting, otherwise we're going to die. Let's have a look, I think. No, Netherlands is still going to exist. I don't, think I, don't, I don't think I go for it. I think I'll let someone else go for it if they really want it. White. Okay, that's yellow coming down from up there then. White was left untouched. There come a lot of troops from the north. Kills the bot? Likely. Yeah. Bot was a kill we could have got then. We should have worked out that. Well, no, we couldn't have worked it out. Perhaps could have counted how many uh, yellow had. We'd have had to get over to the Netherlands as well as whatever was up there. Not impossible though. White takes west. Oh, uh, white takes Eastern Europe. Hits Black's capital. Wow. Black is off cap. How many troops are you still getting? Four. Twelve territories. One of them's here. Sets on four. We're not killing him this turn. Black is now off cap unless he can retake right there. If he retakes, I expect he'll retake the bonus. There we go. Move back in. Did you just not move back into the capital? Did I just see that? Did I just see what I think I saw? Is that a free cap? <laughs> Am I going crazy over here? Or is that a free cap? Red only places in cap. But has exterior. Yellow holds 21. A little bit more territory than last time. But we're thinking this bottom is counting for 10, 12, 14, and then 19 territories, which is at least another 6. So he's holding two extra territories out here. Two to five extra territories, I should say. Um, I'm going to let white hit black. And I'm going to take my card on the bigger bonus, because that's my card. Sorry, bud. It's my card. 
Don't like it, don't wipe me out the rest of the board. 34 still. Scary numbers, sets on three. White has been allowed to grow. Yellow still has an exterior. We need to find the yellow exterior. That's what we need to do. Loses 17 on the cat as well. Okay. White lost quite a few there. White lost their bonus from this turn. They lost 15 and 17. 32 troops. And they're gaining 34 per turn. So White lost everything that they gained just there. Set on three. No. White's attacking a whole lot. A whole lot. Kills black. Interesting. Now it's going to put him back on turn with the rest of us. He's only got 64 on that cap. Obviously doesn't set him in turn. And doesn't move back on the capital? No, it does. Right? Surely moves back on that capital. I can't believe red cap there. I cannot believe red cap there, can you? <laughs> like black capped in the black cap in Bulgaria is crazy to me when I'm literally in Hungary and he can see it because he was in this pocket. Like that's crazy in the first place, but what on earth is that from red? National atrocity. Okay. Now we don't have set on three, but I am thinking of having a look this way. Is it free? It is. We're gonna move. Continue. Are we gonna move? Yes, we're gonna move. That's too dangerous. Way too volatile. Sound four? No. We don't do those. White has turned the worst cap in the game into an extremely strong position by yellow's generosity. I would love to see yellow down to 20. I'd also love to see yellow below 20. Red sets on three to stay alive. That's a scary point in the game, isn't it? Yeah, if you want to stay alive, have a set on three. <laughs> Otherwise, you're done for. Hits up. We obviously don't have set on four. We may be done for. Not much to do about that. Unfortunately, that white cap is looking at us, and white having set on four will probably kill us. Yellow is stuck on... Oh, he's still on the outside, sorry. Makes a couple of attacks. Don't like the position of this game at all. Fist pumping everyone. I don't like being on five cards here. But there's clearly no other option. We're not going to move off the cap. Let's hope it's an 80 cap and not an 8, a 79. There we go. Does white want me dead? 40... Plus the 60 trade, 141. Yeah, I'm... No, it kills red. No, that's coming for me. Yeah, that's a mistake, isn't it? Well done. You fed me. Great. Red gets free cap. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Actually, no. No, no we, we saw it happening from Marley, didn't we? I'd be interested to see what the odds were on that from his perspective. We didn't die. No one knows how weak we are. Apart from us. 
So let's go smack in some stuff. Oh, that's 47. Yeah, we won't break it through that, will we? Yellow is guaranteed himself an exterior. I'm going to open Yellow's cap on this side. Come through. Yellow has the win. White went for a kill they didn't have, and now doesn't have a win either. Severe over attacker. What are you going to do? I had to hope that yellow didn't have that external. That you have to hit through white. But now that he's opened up, like, it doesn't matter. Red should be able to squeak out a second, which is disgusting from where they started. They might even get they might only get third. Yellow's probably annoyingly kind to white. Yellow trades. Only gets 19 because we broke him, obviously. Holds North Africa, which I guess is something for him. He only did for that turn, I reckon. Sets the 70. You saw how weak my cap was. They all come for me? No. Makes that North. Makes the Egypt really strong, which I find very weird. See if white's gonna feed me again. We do have set on four. Learned from his mistake not to hit capitals too early. And luckily for us, didn't have set on three. <laughs> really hates me. Can't blame him, I did hit 15 very early on. I don't think it's exactly my fault. Hmm. With no cap further north in the bonus. It's kind of a weird one for yellow. It's like he holds he holds the golden like the golden egg, right? But he's pointing the wrong way with his capital. He's in Andalusia, not Gascony, so he's pointing inwards to the bonus and not out from Spain. And because it goes so much deeper this time as well, I'm gonna die. Four cards? No. Too passive. You saw how weak my cap was and you didn't kill me. I mean, thank you. I'm not going to complain, but like... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, uh, too passive. Now we are, unfortunately, cap stack and get cards. And also, screw white. That's why we didn't just hit one territory there. We wanted to break them because screw white. I need yellow to break all the way through white here. This alliance needs to end. Red does not own both caps. Let's see if he chooses to go for the set on four. Ooh, Joker. Lovely timing for a Joker. Red does go for the set on four. Gets 80 troops for it. Still a bit precarious on my behalf here. 
where I'm kind of stuck having to give uh, White a guaranteed set in turn if he wants it. Yellow is an interesting play there. Blocks off his big stack and then I don't even understand. Okay, only moves it that far. I don't like that either. Move these three into the cap. Those three can stay up there, and his, cat, uh, his stack's still open. His stack was open no matter what we did there. I wouldn't mind trading with Yellow if he wanted to trade. It doesn't seem to be very um, friendly right now. White is not going for us, which is good. What are they going for? If they're not going for me. They've got to either go for yellow or for red. Either of which is a good situation. We need people hitting other people right now. Red has seven troops. Just slightly interesting. Is seven, is seven troops 15 territories? Or is it both capitals? It appears it's both capitals. <laughs> Bear in mind where he just moved from. Okay. I like that. That's good for me. Yellow gets 25 plus the set. He's not going to have enough, I don't think. Definitely not now. I'm happy to trade with you down there if you want yellow. I'm not going to try and break through your stupid you stupid stack. There you go. Hello. 125. Not way too many troops for me. This is also a set on three territory right now. This is a great, great, great time to have a joker. I cannot emphasize how good of a time it is to have my joker right now. Yellow has the win on a silver platter. White has wasted a hundred early troops hitting a cat that he didn't have any right hitting or any chance of winning. Thus, potentially ensuring his downfall. Down to 12. Good. Yellow is now attacking white. White does not trade on three. White hits back. Taking a little bit of time in between hits. There he goes. A little bit faster. As soon as white is locked out. As soon as white is knocked out of every single exterior they have. They are forced to hit capitals to get cards. That is a very strong position for everyone else to be in. Yellow holds a whole lot of board. And you can see that I'm not worth it. So I don't even think he comes near me. He keeps that stack as kind of a scary, only aiming at me type thing, which I'm not a big fan of. I also don't have cards anywhere else that don't block off my capital that aren't into this guy's Russia. I don't know how well he's going to take that. It's a whole lot of hitting. best thing for yellow in this situation if he wipes out white's exterior white is forced to hit a different player to get cards the annoying thing about a card block is that for someone to get the cards you are the, you're the one that's going to get hit right sorry i didn't mean to break you you didn't give me a card it's on you but yeah so white now who i think is now entirely locked inside here is going to hit red caps to get out Bad for red, great for yellow. And the even better thing for... Well, the, the 
thing for red is this as soon as white holds the trieste territory most of the troops on the cap need to go in vienna one of them got hit interesting there's red set on four i was gonna say okay, most of them can go on vienna you only need enough in hungary to protect against a set and smack so 70 troops is enough there you can put the rest in vienna and protect against the cap hitting the cap as it is, white is now free again. How long that remains, I do not know. Yellow holds a whole lot of ball. We broke Russia accident. Well, not accidentally. We knew what we were doing. But he didn't give us a card anywhere else. So we broke Russia. And he still gets 54 troops per turn. And he holds three caps. That's Vienna. <laughs> and the one hope I have for this game is this off cap stack down here. White is now skipping. Red has five cards. Yellow is very near a card block for the whole game. He only needs to wipe out this little external and force me to take in here before he can two-point guard me. But the problem with that is that two-point guarding me is going to mean that red has potential cards hitting this one here. So it's kind of iffy. He takes another couple of bonus, maybe holds a bonus instead of not holding it this time, I don't know. Maybe that's Central Europe. Yellow also has trade. I also would love it if he went too early. Going too early is great for me too, but I don't have set this turn, so don't go this turn, please. The annoying thing from my point of view into potentially attacking yellow is that if I were to attack Andalusia, okay, he's doing this now. You didn't take here though, so you can't block me. You just want to be able to move them into a capital. Fair enough. You can do that. Very clearly cannot stop you. Maybe I should have used all six troops there to try and get into Arabia instead of leaving myself where I am. I don't think yellow mine's giving me second here. He doesn't even know that I hit the white 20. But yeah, this attacking into Andalusia means I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to block myself off as soon as I go down, which means that obviously I can take everything. I can leave facing in, but if I leave facing in, he's gonna hold this. He holds another bonus, God. You show Eastern Europe? <laughs> Oh no, he held Russia, of course. Of course he held Russia. There is an alarming potential for a reverse card block to happen here. And if it does happen, then it happens and it's quite funny. I still doubt that any of them work with me. No, it work that well together, sorry. But if the case happens where all three of them are trading into here, which isn't happening, why it's still not getting anything. Then, you know, I would be reverse card blocked eventually, but I doubt that happens in this game. Yellow is far too strong. Luckily with the turn order I get to see when stuff happens, hopefully. It's going to be pretty obvious. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> Going directly after yellow is good, we see white dying, that's, so that's a good hint. <laughs> it's a good hint. Yellow sets. Does he have enough to kill red for his five as well? No. We're evidently coming out this turn. Let's think. The only turn we're going to be able to potentially win this game is right now. 
So let's have a look right now. If it's not right now, then it's not right now, you know what I mean? That's a yellow cap. That's the red cap. We clearly are not strong enough. They can trade internally. Let's see if red does that. Maybe I shouldn't have wiped out their exterior. It's not much of an exterior. No, red does not figure out that he can trade internally away from me. I would very much I'd like to place ahead of red now. As in, I kind of need to. Yellow's going to block me. Yellow chooses me. Okay. No blame. We'll leave that cap open. He can't cap run unless uh, he doesn't. He can't cap run because he doesn't have set on two. You don't. No one has set on two, so he can't kill the red cap. We're fine to do this for now. We're fine with him taking that cap. He can't kill us either. At least I hope he can't. <laughs> He'd be hard pressed to kill me this turn. And he might overextend too. Is he even potentially scared of me hiding anything on cap? No, he's not. He could kill me this turn, actually. He can. I didn't expect that. Okay. Wow. I didn't think I could die that turn. I definitely could. Forgetting he's getting 70 troops a turn. That's unfortunate. I would really have preferred not to lose that beginner. Yellow was Grandmaster. Ugh, right. Please give me points and don't take them away. Oh, right, we don't see yet. Oh, we don't see yet. Ugh, brutal. We're just getting card blocked there. Red gets cards, we get third anyway. Yeah, I don't see any way out of that. They're aware of it, interesting. Ugh. I'm going to wait around to see if the game updates, uh, see if it gets me my rank, I'll come back if I get it. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the game has just updated, you can see we're now 24 and 26. Let's have a look at our rank. Yeah. Unfortunate. Not happening today, unfortunately. Let's try again tomorrow.